Hey, Akuna Matata, my friend. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update Sony camera by using SD or CF Express card. I'm using the Sony S7S III. That's what I'm going to update it. Let's go to the website. There is a few questions that we need to answer. And those questions will tell you which method you have to use. Is it the new method of the SD card or you have to use the old method in order to bring your camera to a certain level in order to use the new method? All right, so let's go into the website. All right, before we go into the website, I just ask you a favor. Could you like this video? Great. And also, could you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet? And follow me on Instagram and also on Twitter. Here are my handle on the screen. Great. So here I am in the Sony website. And the firmware version that we want to update to is the latest one, the version 3.02. That was released just last month, last month in July. All right. So what are the questions that we need to answer? Here is the most important question that Sony posed to us, for us. Here it is. Is your firmware version later than version 3.00? If the answer is no, therefore you're going to use the all method. But if the answer is yes, then you're going to use the SD card or CFL Express card method. In order to do that, your firmware version of your camera, the Sony, I mean the Sony S7S III, has to be the 3.01. If something other than that, therefore you're going to use the old method. You have to bring it to the 3.01 before to do, to do that. So here is an example. So update order. Let's say that your version is 2.11. So then you have to go from 2.11 to 2.15 and from 2.15 to 3.01 and to from 3.01 to 3.02. Okay. But if you have the version 3.00, so then you have to go from 3.00 to 3.01 before you go to 3.01 to 3.02. So I'm going to show you how to check your version of the firmware that you have. So we go into the menu, and you go into the briefcase, and in the briefcase, you go to number 12, set up option, and there you can see we go to version, and we can see. So here the version that I have is 3.01. So then I am in a safe position to use the SD card or CF Express card. If your version is something different than that, so then you need to use the old method. I know it is cumbersome. I know it is, well, let me, let me not get into that. But I leave a link in the description below of a video which I show you how to do it. If you are using Mac computer, really important. And also, you know the card that's showing there? You can click on that card, it will take you into the video which is gonna show you how to use the old method. Okay? Let's say that you already gone there, you updated your Sony to 3.01. So now we're going to use the SD card method. So I'm going to go back into Sony website. All right. So here we are in the website. So what we need is that we're going to proceed to this link. Right, I'm going to click on this link. It's going to take us here. So it's going to take us here. See here, I have an option, you know, to download the firmware version 3.02. So I'm going to press download. It's going to start downloading. Yeah, start downloading. It's downloading. And it's downloading. So while it's downloading, we're just going to go quickly try to see, try to read the process. All right. Though. So here are the steps that we, we're going to follow. So step one. And here what are important in step one. So first thing from the step one is really important that 
when you upload the file into SD card, you have to insert it in the slot number one. Slot number one is important. Otherwise, is not the camera is not going to recognize it. All right, and then after that, second step we need to follow that. All right, we need. Okay, the download is now complete. So let me go find the file. So I'm going to go into my finder. So here's the file. The file is called body data dot dot. So what are we going to do? We're going to transfer it into the CF Express card. Here's the CF Express card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take copy and put it on the root of the, the CF Express card. So that's done. I'm going to exit. All right, it's exit. I'm going to take, you know, the card and insert it back. Remember, slot number one. Okay, so now it's in the slot number one. So we're going to go and start the process of, you know, updating. In order to find where to update, you have update the camera so you go back into the menu and you go, go back to the version we click the version and then here we have right software update and we click on software update all right so here we have body update yes so we need to read what is written there please follow this precaution until the very end all right then so what is the precaution? So the first thing, do not turn off the power or remove the media card during update. We're not going to do that. So second, the screen will not be displayed and, and the access lamp will blink during the update. That's fine. Next point, the access lamp will blink faster as the update progress. That's fine too. The update may take several minutes. That's fine. The device automatically reboot when complete. All right, okay, that's fine. So now we're gonna start the process. So we choose execute, execute. So I'm gonna press execute. All right, is executing. Everything is off. A few moments later, Okay, it has updated. That's extremely fast compared to the old, you know, method. So now the camera is updated, the body completed. So we're gonna press okay. Yeah, see later, I mean, said later. What is that? Use creator app to continue using shooting image transfer, remote shooting and so on, so on, so on. Okay, that's good, that's good. But I'm gonna do it later. And what is that? Use, uh, yeah, all right. Can, yeah, I mean, anyway, I understand, close. So let me go quickly into my menu and into the briefcase and into this setup options and let's check the version. Right here is a version ver 3.02, fantastic. And there is some improvement. If you're coming from something that is not the 3.01, so you know, here is the list of all the improvement. All right, so I'm gonna leave it for you to read it in your own time. I think finally, Sony has given us the option to update firmware by using SD or Save Express card. All the other brand, Canon, Nikon, Hasselblad, all of them, Panasonic, all of them, you know, they use that SD card method. So you can see how fast it is compared to the old version. All right. So I think, you know, Sony took too long, honestly, in order to give us that. But, you know, now it is. There is now. So we just be grateful that there is now. All right. Okay, my friend. So if you find this very video very useful, please smash the like button. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel now, right, right now. And also follow me on Instagram and also on Twitter. Okay.
as always from me, Akuna Tata, my friend. Stay safe and stay protected. May God be with you all the time. Love. Bye for now. Ciao. See you in the next video.